today marks a very proud moment for me because today is a live Q&A that Lydia is going to be doing for her brand new book, Evergreen. We're going to be heading down to London later on this afternoon, but I just thought I would quickly come on. Just A, to flag to anybody that's not familiar that Lydia has just brought out this book, which you can see here in this, as you'd expect, green book cover. The detail and the illustrations that are inside here are absolutely beautiful. I've had the privilege and the honour of actually listening to Lydia's audiobook already, so I've technically completed the book. I know how much work Lydia and her team have put into making this happen, and so I'm really excited for her and I'm really proud of her. And tonight's going to be an evening of celebration, and I guess for her to delve a little bit deeper with the guys that are going to be attending, I think there's around about 250 people attending this Waterstones event this evening, into the book and the kind of ethos and meanings behind it and why she's written it. So that will be lovely. I would love to document that on my channel because I'm very proud of her. However, you know Liz and I like to fight over what events go on whose channel and I think it's fair to say that she's going to win this one. So if you do want to check out the video, then as always, head over to Lydia's channel. But today, I'm really proud to announce that this video is in partnership with luxury British streetwear brand Represent. You'll notice there's a few items dotted around me, and that is because I've prepared my space, ready to talk to you about their brand new capsule collection. And this new collection is their first step into tailoring. And I guess the capsule represents a new movement and direction for Represent as a brand. And I'm here for it because you guys know that I love traditional and classic tailoring. And so this is speaking my language. They've taken a more mature and sophisticated approach to style. However, they've remained true to their DNA with a slight nod to the more contemporary styles that they usually produce. And we can talk a little bit more about that in detail in a second when I'm trying the pieces on. But this eight piece collection really does encapsulate the fundamentals of British tailoring. British, sometimes I really struggle to say that word, I don't know why, British Ali. <laughs> they have padded shoulders, slightly more structured look to them, and slightly heavier fabrics, which is perfect for autumn winter. And so, as you can see, the pieces I've selected are all black, and so we're going to be going for an all black look today. But for me, it's more talking to you about the small details that have gone into these particular items. Because when I used to think about somebody just arrived to our house and the dogs are making themselves known. So as I was saying, when I used to think about tailoring or just a jacket or a blazer, I very much used to just package it all up as one thing. There wasn't much difference between a black blazer. A black blazer is a black blazer. However, as I've invested more time and I've started to learn and understand a little bit more about tailoring, there is so much difference between different styles of jackets. And... <laughs> it's always when you start filming that this happens. Not only do a lot of these styles carry a lot of history, there's also certain times that you may wear a certain style of jacket and so on. But we won't get into that now. I think we shall focus on trying on these items and once I've put this look on, then we'll talk through them. Just before I do, so you can see them off me, if that makes sense, on the hammer. First item are these pair of tailored black trousers. As you'll be able to see, hopefully, just on the waistline there, you've got a little bit of detail on one of the belt loops. You'll see that it says, represent is embossed. God, these cameras. Represent is embossed on one of the belt loops at the back. And then we've got zipped pocket compartments and also on the hem as well, which we'll talk about a little bit in a second. We then have a double breasted virgin wool overcoat. This has actually got unconstructed shoulders on it, which works perfectly when you're wearing it over a jacket. The jacket we'll discuss about in a second has structured shoulders, but you'll see that we've got the R initial logo on the lapel. And at the back we have a single vent and a buttonless cuff. So that's the details of the overcoat. And then the jacket here you'll see has got notch lapels. We also have a single vent on the back. This does have a buttoned cuff. And also something that I really like about this jacket is the long slanted lapel that comes down the front. So this is a nice little detail. And 
Earlier I mentioned how Represent have taken a contemporary approach to tailoring. You can see that in small details such as the enclosed buttonhole here so that will look completely minimal when the jacket's being worn with the detail of the art logo on the lapel and I would say that the pockets give it a slightly more casual feel without having the flaps over the front or jet pockets and I really like that. I really like that with wool fabrics as well. I think that it makes the jacket really versatile. So wonderful black jacket here. And then last but not least we have the Represent Chelsea boots. These are in like a glossed finish, a patent finish. They've got a nice chunky rubber sole on them and then you'll see that they've got the Represent R embossed just here on the I guess you'd call this the elasticated part of the shoe. This is gonna help get your foot in basically. Clean, minimal feel to all of these garments. So I'm gonna chuck them on and I'll show you how I've styled them up. Now I would like to add that none of these clothes have been to the alteration center yet. And so I would have the waistline slightly tweaked, which is very usual for me on the trousers. I would also have the sleeves taken up on the jacket as well because I typically fall shorter than your standard size. And I think that that's something that's really important to know, that when buying in general clothing, with the view of like tailoring, you have this ability to be able to have them fit you exactly how you like. And I love that because it means that I'm gonna get more wear out of what I'm buying because I've taken the time to ensure that it fits me correctly. It's very much part of my uh, routine actually to go and have my clothing altered so it fits me perfectly. Um, I think it's an impossible request for any brand to be able to supply a set size jacket to fit everybody that requires that size because as humans we are all very very different in our dimensions and so I am well on board with uh, having my clothes altered to ensure they fit me as well as possible. Chuck the boots on before we put the jacket on. Before we chuck on the double-breasted overcoat, I thought I would quickly show you the outfit without it on so you can see the jacket in action. But as you can see, the trousers look really accentuated and that really comes from the ability to be able to pull those zips up and flare out the bottom of the trousers. And for a guy like me that's five foot nine, that's very welcomed. I'm happy to have long legs for a change. And it also means that they sit really nicely over the boot. I hope you can see clearly there, but you can just see they flare out over the boot. And these boots are quite statement, they're quite big. And of course, having a slight high shine to them, draw your attention to them. They're incredibly comfortable. You don't have to worry about breaking these in, they're comfortable straight away. But I've teamed the trousers with this black belt, continuing that black theme and of course with this black knit underneath. And you'll see how the lapel looks really nice as it pulls across the front. The length of the jacket is slightly shorter than a traditional jacket length, which gives it a slightly more boxed off look. I really like this take on a jacket. And then let's chuck on the overcoat. Now this coat really is an extension of that jacket. We've got the enclosed buttonhole, we've got a very similar raised or elevated neckline to this, which I absolutely love. We've of course got the R logo detail on the lapel. This is a really beautiful example of an overcoat. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as always, if you would like to find out more information and see the rest of the collection, then do check out the link in my description box down below. But I'm gonna get myself freshened up, ready to head down to London for Lydia's event. Well, good afternoon. We wrapped up Lydia's event in the week. She did incredibly well. And I hope that if any of you guys managed to get over to enjoy it, I hope you had a great time. Um, I know Lydia certainly did. And this weekend, to be honest with you, we're just taking it super easy. It's been a pretty hectic few weeks. And so we have kind of embraced a more relaxed and chilled weekend ahead. But not that I feel I need to address this, but I know that some of you guys have messaged me about my video uploads because I haven't actually posted a video in the last couple of weeks. And that is because some of you may have seen over on my Instagram, I've not addressed it here on YouTube, but I very sadly lost my gramps about three or four weeks ago. And he was just an incredible guy. If any of you have been following me for a few years, you'll know that Four years ago, um, he came over and we actually filmed a YouTube video together doing some gardening here at the house. And he was just the kindest, most generous example um, that I've ever had in my life. And I feel like he very subconsciously taught me 
um, lots of valuable lessons in life and he's going to be truly missed and so because of that I just kind of wanted to just take a step back and allocate some time to to him and of course we have the funeral and all of the other bits that come along with um, that so I didn't film that week and then the week after was Didier's book launch and so I wanted to ensure that I could give some attention and time to that also and so it just felt like the right time to focus on getting some stuff sorted at home, taking a bit of a break, having a bit of a rest which was lovely uh, because we had anticipated a very busy period as it is and so that's why I haven't been posting for the last couple of weeks and I'm sure you all understand that exactly but I have been doing things, um, I've not just been twiddling my thumbs here at the house, I've been busy attending events and doing tasks and jobs around the house and so I thought today we'll do a little bit of a catch up, um, I'll show you some of the things that we've had done at the house and also I think we're going to jump back into the wardrobe in a second because I think it's time to uh, finally wrap that room up and one of the things that I did do whilst I had some time away was I went through and I just cleared out and cleaned so much of my wardrobe so it's a lot more organised in there now, I've managed to get rid of the majority of the clutter that was filling the back end of that room so I've made space now for us to introduce the chairs and the coffee table that was always the original plan and uh, I'd like to look at getting some fabric into the room and a nice stool to go under that centre island so we'll do that in a second. But before we do, let's quickly head outside because finally I stumbled across some mirrors for the shed and they look absolutely fantastic. Here they are, as you can see, they are garden mirrors. The actual metal grids that run over the front of the mirrors are actually doors that you can open up, which is really nice. I picked them up from an antique store. Um, I they're definitely not antique, but they were being stocked in there. And so we managed to get three identical mirrors, which just look really lovely inside. Kind of coves that are created with the arched oak beams and with the wood stacked up underneath, they just look absolutely fantastic. So when I actually fixed these up, you could see, of course, in the reflection, a lot of the stuff that we were storing in this sort of area of the house including which we still need to find a home for the um, outdoor furniture cushions storage unit and we didn't really like how it looked in the reflection just like we used to have the drain pipe the hose also the irrigation system that I put in to feed this planter here so we've had this all hidden inside this unit which I just think looks absolutely fantastic because it's just a really nice subtle way of disguising all of the pipe work and everything else all the services that are running through that our mains water into the irrigation so the garden comes down there as well so it's just really helped tidy up that sort of corner of the house. So when you're looking at the reflection through from the driveway, you now see the planter, the wooden boxing in, the window, and it just looks a lot tidier, less offensive, and it just looks a bit more considered. So I'm really happy with how these have turned out, and um, they're, they're really good quality as well, and they were really reasonable in terms of cost. And then one of the larger jobs that I did in the garden, actually, if we take a little walk down, I did some woodland maintenance, which it's, it's quite a large task because it's amazing how long it takes to work through all of the trees in the woodland but I've raised the canopies completely throughout to create this vista through to the fields behind. You'll be able to see that there are sheep in there and it's just so lovely to be able to see all the way through. And the hedge line at the back, which has got so deep, it must be like nearly five foot deep. Um, so I was fully stretched with the hedge trimmer um, tidying that up, but I've kept that nice and low as well. And again, just uh, gone through and cleaned out and tidied up the woodland, got rid of the majority, not all, but the majority of the ivy um, on the trunks, and as I mentioned, raised the canopy to allow more light down to the bed of the woods, but also to help 
clear that view through so we can enjoy watching the sheep graze the field in the background. So that was another task that took pretty much a whole day. Also, you'll see the beehives just through there as well. They're doing absolutely fine. I removed their apigard um, over the weekend, last weekend. So they've now had their variety treatment ready for winter. So yeah, they're doing very well. I've also been continuing with the compost pile and as you can see we're getting there. This had straw and chicken muck from the coop yesterday added to this which is why you can see some of the uh, straw in there but I have managed to put so many grass cuttings and so much straw and dead leaves it seems to disappear into nowhere it's amazing and so i'm sure that probably in another three months this will be ready to go and lydia can distribute this as she pleases but you just keep on turning it over making sure it's staying wet and i'm assuming of course if i want this to be a success then i need to allow for this to do its thing and i need to stop adding things to it but um yeah it's actually been relatively easy I quite enjoyed doing it and it's been incredibly helpful to get rid of um, lots of grass cuttings and, and waste from the garden. So that has been a success. That, that was a great little purchase. And it also doesn't look too bad here either. I did snap one of the bits of wood that went across the front, which is why there's a big hole there, because I get a little bit excited sometimes with the uh, fork. <laughs> Lids and I also had a huge clear out and tidy up in the greenhouse. So it's looking a lot tidier in here. I think the vines are gonna need a nice prune soon as well. You see the leaves are just dying back. So I'll probably get onto that soon. But yeah, it feels nice to have got everything a little bit tidier, a bit more organized. It just helps with me anyway, to give a little bit more clarity on what it is that I uh, want to be doing. We also had a little leak in the vegetable bed department, but um, Nicholson's came out and fixed all of those. We had been a little bit um, rough, should we say, when we were um, using the garden tools in these beds and we'd nicked the pipe a few times. So lesson learned, we're allowing them to be a little bit more exposed now so you can see the grid system, which will help us to avoid stabbing those again. We've also been getting loads of use out of the big green egg. I had my uncle over the other day and he was helping teach me how to smoke a brisket. So that was great fun. Later on this afternoon, I'm gonna be putting the wood-fired pizza oven on as well. Lids and I are gonna be having pizza for dinner, which will be very lovely. And we've been staying on top of keeping the beds nice and tidy on the patio. The lawn does need a cut. The lawn's still growing pretty well, you know. I only cut it last week and uh, it's, doing, it's doing very well. Chickens are doing well as well. What else have we been getting up to? I'm just sort of giving a bit of a, a bit of an update of what I've been doing. I put the mirrors on the shed, mm -hmm. with the boxing in on the shed. Mm -hmm. We tidied up around the back of where the reflection of the mirrors were. Sorted your greenhouse out. Have you shown them your dressing room? We're going to go there now. Yeah, I'd say that's the next bit. Was there anything else? I feel like I did some other tasks. I know I cleared the woodland out. Have you shown them that? Yeah. Yeah, that's about it, I think. Well, I guess that brings us up to the wardrobe, where I have also been doing lots of work, because along the back side of the part of my wardrobe that you don't often see in the videos that I post on Instagram, for example, were three rails full of clothes and it was just getting a little bit out of control and I had lots of fragrances that I needed to go through, which actually has inspired me to do a fragrance video, which I'll film for next week's video perhaps because I've gone through all my fragrances and I've discovered a nice collection of like strong solid fragrances that are my like top tier fragrances that I go to often that are now nicely organized in this center island for me to use depending on the occasion so it's just been really therapeutic and it's been nice to focus on getting things organized and feeling like I'm in a good place just before the Christmas rush I guess um, I often spend lots of my time frantically trying to stay on top of everything and I feel like I've given myself a nice foundation to do so. And so one of the last things that I need to get done in this room, now it is a bit more organised, is I want to put some blinds over the Veluxes like Lydia did in her room because it just added a nice bit of 
a bit of depth, a bit of warmth. It makes the room feel a bit more comfortable and cozy. And so just to soften um, the room a bit, we're going to add a couple of fabrics over the Veluxes, as well as putting in a stool that could be situated under the center island for everyone to sit down and work out or do something on the center islands. But also I'll use that as my stool that I pull out when I'm doing my hair in the morning and getting ready for the day instead of sitting on the wooden stool that I've got in there at the moment. I'll sit on the stool that's been upholstered. So that is what we're gonna be working on today. Putting in the chairs, seeing how the room feels with two chairs in or whether it can only take one. And you will be helping me. Yes, I will. Making sure that it kind of works out. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah, so. It's when you, when our, our tones of voices change, they're like, what was that? I feel like I'm very happy with the left side of my room. It, mm. it looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. And then just a little bit bare over there. <laughs> yeah. So this is where we're at. But I'm just pleased that I've got to the point where this is now clear and uh, we can get busy with it. So we're not 100% sure whether that picture's going to stay. I love it. I think it works in this room perfectly. Mm. Yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't. I think we just need to get the chairs in. Yeah. Get an understanding of the layout in here, what we need to order. Yeah. And then we'll understand the configuration of what we need to put on that wall. Yeah, cool. Is he busy? Let's get busy. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, we have chair number one. Watch out. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Our position there. What about these? Do you want me to move these? Yes, please. I didn't say that. Where should we move these two for now? Just here. Yeah, just pop them there. Yeah. Position. Just be careful dragging it on your. Not dragging. Right. No, but I mean if you're dragging it. Don't have a table in here. Yes, you don't have them pushed up against the wall, though. like lamp here. I mean you can bring the table from downstairs, the bedroom to see what it looked like. Yeah this can also come this way if it needed to. Can we try and get the table as well? Might as well. Get that one, the clear one. Yeah. It doesn't that have to be that one but no. Well, I would say you would have a lamp on that table. Wow that's it. That's it. I mean you could you, you could go for a higher chair but I would say that because you've got this height, you don't want it to go too much higher. Yeah, it's this slanting down here we have to be cautious of. No, you don't. You don't have to be cautious of, because when yeah. people sit down, they go like this. Oh, true. How does that look? Look, a freestanding lamp, or like on the table lamp. It, it, I would go for a, a, on the table lamp. I don't like your mirror like this. Okay. Personally, I think that you prefer it tilted towards yeah, the otherwise window. it just looks too but, steady. But you see all you see is the velux though. But yeah, but your velux will be closed. And you'll have your when you have Which your velux is it? on there. Yeah, when I have the Let me close that a second and see how that looks. Yeah, I, def I definitely think that picture up there looks great. Can you hold this here so I can yeah. see? This came all the way from Tennessee, I think. I'm pretty sure it's Tennessee. Yeah, lovely. Really nice. I would go about right above the, where the armchair is going to sit. Yeah. yeah, no, along a bit. No, 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 towards you. So you sit sat right above it. No, you're not doing it right above the chair. There. Like that? Yeah, like that. I mean, I would say that it could be smaller. It could be a smaller picture because it's quite similar in width to your mirror. Right. Um, that's the only thing I would say. But look, can I go and get a um, lamp? Yeah. It looks lovely. Huh? It'd be great for you to come and sit and review my outfits. Exactly. <laughs> I wouldn't have to moan anymore. Could you just move the... Um... Also, this rail that you can see in the mirror. I'm wobbling. That definitely wouldn't stay. 
I know, I think that's lovely as well in here. You can have a smaller one though. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Like a lower um, pot, pot, vase. That is so nice. You are so good at this. Do you think? Yeah. Do you really like it? Well, you've just popped this together in a hot minute from nowhere. <laughs> You're very good at it. Oh, I kind of want to leave it like this. is perfect. Yeah, let's just leave it then. You can get new ones for the... No, they don't do that because you're... Can I just try a different picture, different size yeah. picture there? I'm really happy with this. <laughs> oh, baby, it looks so good. I'm so jealous of your dressing room. It's unreal. It's so cosy. And you can have a little tumbler of whiskey just under there. Just one. Um, as a touch. I think that's too small. Can you, can, you up. can you hold it up for me? See, I think a bit of a gallery wall there rather than that big one. Personally. It's too busy. But it won't look too busy, my love. You start adding pictures in. I think you want it to be a bit more homely. Okay. Understood. I think that's too... Wait. Can you... Yeah, do something like... This felt's quite nice. It just needs something to lighten it up a little bit. Yeah, I think I think we need to sort of plan the gallery wall a little bit, yeah. but that I think that picture looks really nice in here. Yes. No, no, no. The the lighter the one. Light one. Yeah. Oh my god, babe, this is so perfect. Yeah, it feels like a room now, and obviously we can put some something on the lower level down there. I oh, just said the whiskey. Mm. You mean um? A like decanter. A, a, yeah, decanter and just two glasses under there. Yeah. I think that would look really like a lot. Or you could just put some books. Yeah. Let me just go get some books. You're really happy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you never sit in these chairs in the, in the room. I know. That's one thing I was going to say is that I could probably, you know, just something as simple like that, just some books under there. Mm. Um, that's the thing I was going to say is that we could potentially put like a dressing table in that room in that in that room instead in our bedroom but it is cozy with the armchairs looks so good i'm really happy with it i could put a candle on the side there as well with that so i can scent my room the only thing that i need to be conscious of mm -hmm. is i move this center right yes. around so what i would say is, well, you just take that off and you just pop it on the floor. So you don't want too much on here. No. No, you don't want you don't want a, like a tray or anything like that. What I would honestly say is we get you a small one of these. Which we've got already, I think. Um, we do, but it's got things in it in the living room. We need to go and do a bit of an antique shop for you. Mm -hmm. You need to start enjoying the antique shopping with me, babe. Yeah. So what do you want to do with these then? <laughs> That's because you don't want to put them back downstairs, do you? What do, you, what do you think? Do you think these are these are going to be good for here? You know what they are. I think the fabrics work lovely. Yeah, so this is what we were going to do. Something similar to your blinds, but I don't want it to be too matchy-matchy, so we may have to look at something different for your well, blinds. Well, I think if you're doing this, here. you just do a plain. I wouldn't go plain, because your walls what are about, so... What about if they just had a border by the carpet, the rug? So they were like plain with just like a border of this blue. I know we'll be able to find something really nice that will have a bit more of an intrigue. We'll keep, we'll keep it um, this light shade, but just a different pattern on it. Or you, could, or you could do a cushion tie. So like you could say, for example, that was the cushion that we were going to have in mm -hmm. here. You could use the blinds to match that. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really... I mean, we could... 
there's lots of different things. I think I've got a lot of brown. Yeah, there's no more brown and, 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 and green greens. going in here. I've got all of that in Yeah, here. yeah. So now we need some lighter tones. Yeah. And I feel like either this sort of colour or this colour has a blind. 100%, 100%, but I just think we need to find, it, it needs a pattern because this is so one tone, but you can honestly, babe, you'd be surprised how many patterns you can get in one room and it look perfectly fine. Good. I think so. these are pretty good. They do, they do, but you they make the room work properly. They look nice here. They feel good here. I would say that not so much here. Really? In my opinion, I think maybe try taking the big one away and putting the little one, and I think maybe that will work. I think the big one's maybe a bit too big. Yeah, okay. You could put something on top of that to give this it. This whole thing can move that way as well, though. Yeah, I know, but the main place that you want this is here. I can't believe how good this looks. Mm -hmm. I'm over the moon. Yeah, same. I'm really enjoying this room. Really enjoying it. Okay, so as you come into the room, this is the kind of view. And then if you see in the mirror, we've got the trunks down on the floor. I think they look really nice there. Personally, Lydia thinks they're a little bit too big. Have the pictures on the wall. And then the reason why this is so important to be in my room is because it houses my hair dryer, hair brushes, hair sprays, moisturizer. And so it's really convenient to have that just in front of the mirror. And then there's nothing in this bottom box. So Lydia's saying this can go. Um, I don't use it for anything. And it will also mean that because I have got this on wheels, when I'm moving this around, it's not going to be as hard to move the smaller box, the bigger one and the smaller one together. It takes more time, doesn't it? And then the stool that I have will be upholstered, will sit underneath there as that one is, but it'll just obviously be the replacement one. And then I'll probably tidy up the wiring over there, potentially put a decanter. Yeah, I think a whiskey decanter underneath there would be really nice. Stick a whiskey decanter under there, a couple of glasses, all of the books. And it's, um, it's coming together, isn't it? It looks lovely, like from sitting here, when I'm sitting here, like the room looks so and nice. Good. I think the actual like view of this room coming in yes. looks like a finished room now. It does look, it does feel more complete, doesn't it? It look, it's, it's amazing. I think we need to get you some antique little battered hat boxes to sit up here just to give it some height. Yeah. Just find you a lower one of these or one like the one that we What have. are they called? An urn? No, these are pickling jars. Pickling but jars. But we want one like, I think we want one like in the one in the uh, bathroom. Yes. Here, personally, although I do like the light colour of this. I think, um, it, I think, I think the colour of that works really nicely, personally. Um, no, I'm really happy with how the wardrobes come together, considering we were going to rip the whole thing out. I know. You didn't need it, did it? Well, I mean, obviously, we both know that if we, do, if we did it again in our next houses, house... We know a lot more now, don't we? Yes. Like, I know so much about what, just in terms of, like, the acoustics that are in my dressing room yeah. um, versus what is in it now. But... It's def we've definitely made the best of the original decision that was made for the yeah, room. Yeah, colour. And do you know what? This has got me thinking about my bookcases. Fragrances, by the way. <laughs> this has got me thinking about my bookcases downstairs and not ripping them out. Yeah. And just paint, like the difference that painting them a muddy tone gives it is, um, yeah. I think that once... I think the I... lights on the wardrobe really helped in here. Absolutely. Sticking the lights on. Yeah, absolutely. And you've got, you, your silk shades are so perfect. Yeah, they look nice. Mm. It just feels cosy in here, that's the way I'd describe the room. Yeah. Obviously there's a bit of blue light coming in on you at the moment. But yes, because it's late when, afternoon. Yeah, when you... Um, when you just sort of look at the feel for the room, it just feels so, so cosy. Mm. Yeah, it looks great. You are a magician. <laughs> Even I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah. It just looks very considered, but it's functional and that's what I like about it. I like that everything actually has been considered. You know, we can move the center island around. There's space around the room. I've got everything I need in here mm -hmm. and it's well, well hidden. So it just looks, the business but it's also functional and i think it's quite hard to strike those two together the only thing i would like to do now is build you a bit of a bookcase here or like side find like an old sideboard or something yeah. here to cover up your radiator but let my lovely cast iron rad yeah it is. that looks amazing it does look amazing but i reckon if we put a bookcase there it would feel like you've got um something to put 
some pictures on, some books, a candle that's just out of the way, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think that that would tidy up that area. It looks amazing on the back of the camera, in my opinion. I know it's not everybody's taste, but And I know the thing that you mine. struggle with the most in here is the light, but I Yes, because we've got no light coming in this side, so it's all coming from these two Velixes. But I would say, in all honesty, it never comes across on your videos, and I think that what looks best on your videos is the fact that it's so in line with your style. The colour, what's behind you, everything, it's like the perfect set for your videos, yet you've, it's a functional room as well. Mm. That's, That's what I was saying, I just love that, that part of it. Well done. That was a lot quicker and easier than I thought. But on a serious note, are we going to get new chairs for in here? Or are they going to stay in here? We're going to get new chairs for the room. Well, what we can try and do now is move my writing desk from the spare bedroom, see what that looks like in the corner. Yes, but would you want, because you love looking out well, of the I window. Well, I can find another writing desk. Okay, fine. Or I can find, because this, that one might be too small for in our bedroom. I think it might be too small for that corner. Right. Um, so I can look to find an old dressing table rather than writing yeah, desk. Yeah, you've got the chair already. <laughs> Well, yeah, but I might go for it. Who, kn who knows? But um... okay. Well, let's go and have a look at that. Let's grab it. Okay. Have a look, and then we'll make a decision. I'm happy to take this back downstairs again. At least we now. I'll just take photos so I can rem remember. Yeah. But yeah, that really does complete this room. Mm. If we do that, I, I'm I'm starting to feel like I'm so I'm so clean. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Because um, you know what I'm like when things aren't finished. One on the floor, getting the bigger one out, because I do yeah. just think that the big one is slightly too big down here. Yeah, okay, we'll do. Ali is just trying out different foliage in here. Uh, this is a slightly lower pickling jar, but I think we actually prefer this one. And we're trying to make use of um, things that he already has in his wardrobe on top of the shelves. Now you can't really see it too much, but it actually just raises the eye up. We need to find something specific, but just whilst um, he's got these out on display and they are actually very, very lovely, it makes sense to use these to just pop on top of the wardrobes to add that height. I'd just like to expose even more how bougie Ali is when it comes to his wardrobe. He has fragrances for his shoe cupboard. Oh. Aramis. What's Which the other is one? modern leather. Modern leather. And we've got bronze, wood and leather, generally. What was the other one that you've got? Um, I do have Molten Brown's Recharge Black Pepper, but these two are like, they just make me think of shoes because the leather. Lovely. I think this is dead, yeah. Yeah, throw that away. That's fine, that can go. You're actually inspiring me at the moment. I never do that with perfume in my dressing room and I absolutely should. What, make them smell? Hopefully. Yeah, oh my gosh, I've, you're, you're inspiring me. My goodness. I'm an inspiring kind of guy. Yeah. I think this was smell lovely in your room. This is brand new from Molten Brown called Wild Mint and Lavender. Mm -hmm. I have just made it smell to braid leather in here. Hold. Do you want to go out there and do it? Mmm. Quite, it's almost a bit soapy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like so. that. I'll do that in my dressing room. <laughs> Hi, <babe. laughs> you got me all booty now. My dressing room's not as tidy as yours at the it's moment. Certainly not. I'm about to pack for a trip. That's why my dressing room is a mess, okay? Okay. Can I just say, my room is glowing in the reflection of the mirror yes, from here. you've got lights on. I've not got look, lights Look how nice that is. I know. That's what I mean. I, like, I don't know if we've got mine on as well. Yeah, now yours is glowing as well. I don't know whoever put that light up for you, but it's a lovely job. <laughs> you spray your clothes with it? Yeah, these are clothes that just stay out, so they need to smell nice. Show clothes. But all the soft furnishings should get a spritz. Mm. Thanks, babe. Nice. Nice and idea, isn't it? My little uh, room fragrance. You bougie move. <laughs> I think it's nice to have a room fragrance. Yeah, I didn't even, do you know what? I have so many perfumes and I sit there and I'm like, no, you can't use that. That's a nice perfume. And really, I should be using them you in rooms. You should. Where are we at then in here? Um, so we're clearing, you need to get this thing out. Just get that out into the This hallway. out? Yeah, yes. throwing everything off. Okay. Sorry, boss. Sorry, I get quite bossy when I'm doing this. Yeah. 